Top 5 List of Fermented Foods for the Gut Microbiome and Digestion Fermented foods, or cultured foods, are a special group of foods that have gone through a fermentation process, creating a deliciously pickled or strongly flavored condiment, food, or drink. In the category called raw, alive, and or unpasteurized, consuming these fermented or cultured foods can be healthful to humans in three ways. Benefit number one. They contain beneficial living probiotic microorganisms like lactic acid bacteria that when ingested can colonize the lower gastrointestinal tract and help to reestablish or maintain a healthy gut microbiome. This is a region largely found in the colon that works together with the gut-associated lymphoid tissue and gut-brain axis and plays an important role in human immune and cognitive functions. Benefit number two. They are full of live, active enzymes that help with digestion and the breakdown of other foods into usable nutrients. Cultured ferments also assist the body's natural detoxification processes, encouraging regular bowel movements. Benefit number three. Culturing some foods also pre-digests them, making their nutrients more bioavailable to the digestive system. This helps one to assimilate harder to digest things like beans or dairy. Here's our top five list of fermented foods you may wish to include in your diet. Number one, kefir. Kefir is believed to have come from somewhere in the Caucasus mountain region, where it has existed as a sacred cultured food for centuries. It is a tart, yogurt-like drink that is traditionally made by fermenting dairy milk, but other vegan milk varieties can also be used such as coconut milk and nut-based milks. There are also versions of water kefir that are lower in calories and fat content. Kefir is originally made using kefir grains, but can also be fermented with a powdered culture starter. What's the difference between kefir and yogurt? Kefir develops a much more complex matrix of probiotic microbes. It is in fact deemed by many health experts as the number one food used to reestablish a healthy gut microbiome. Drinking a glass in the morning on an empty stomach is especially recommended for those who have undergone antibiotic use as these drugs tend to kill beneficial microflora in the body. Kefir is another good example of a fermented food that predigests the lactose content in dairy, which can make it more digestible for those who are lactose intolerant. Number two, cultured vegetables. Raw cultured vegetables like German sauerkraut or Korean kimchi are made by culturing chopped or shredded vegetables, often cabbage, in its own juice or brine. Over time, between 4 to 10 days or much longer depending on how you like them, the vegetables develop a pickled and zesty taste. They are frequently served as a condiment with meals. Active raw cultured vegetables are known for their very high vitamin C content as well as a diverse array of probiotic lactic acid bacteria and enzymes, both of which support intestinal health and its intimate connection to the immune system. When purchasing store-bought cultured vegetables, it is good to check labels as not all brands are unpasteurized. We of course always encourage making your own at home. It's cheap, easy, and requires minimal ingredients and tools. Number three, tempeh. Tempeh is a fermented bean cake known to have originated on the Indonesian island of Java, one of the main islands located next to Bali. It is traditionally made with soybean, but any type of bean or a mixed combination of beans, grains, or other ingredients can be utilized. The white spore cultures, Rhizopus orizi and Rhizopus oligosporus, bind to the beans and form the tempeh cake. The end result can be sliced raw, fried or steamed as an alternative to meat. When we ferment foods like beans used to make tempeh, the proteins as a result are broken down into amino acids that can be readily assimilated. Tempeh is therefore less likely to cause digestive problems that beans are notorious for. However, because most enjoy it as a cooked food, a good percentage of the probiotics and enzymes are destroyed. We always recommend learning how to make your own tempeh rather than using store-bought brands. It's not only cheaper, but has a rich umami flavor incomparable with most bland, rubbery-textured commercial products. 
For more details on how to make your own, visit the link in the description box below this video. Number 4. Kombucha Kombucha is a tangy and slightly fizzy beverage made from fermenting a sweetened tea with a kombucha mushroom culture. This is a thick, gelatinous mat made up of multiple species of bacteria and yeast called a SCOBY, which stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. Cultured kombucha is a refreshing and energizing drink that can be a great alternative to sodas, caffeinated drinks, or alcohol. It contains a number of nutritious elements including amino acids, enzymes, polyphenols, vitamin C, and is known for its high level of B vitamins. Kombucha is recognized as a helpful detoxification aid because of its glucuronic acid content which acts through the process of glucuronidation. It is very easy to make homemade kombucha with very few ingredients and a SCOBY culture. These versions are often higher in quality and nutritional components compared to uniform store-bought products, which should be unpasteurized for highest health benefits. Number 5. Seed Cheese Seed cheese is a delicious, tangy, vegan cultured cheese, commonly made from sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, but also nuts like almonds and cashews. The short culturing process not only creates an aged cheese-like flavor, but also provides a probiotic-rich food very high in enzyme content. This is also a very good way to consume nuts or seeds, as the process of fermentation helps to break down the phytates, oxalates, and plant proteins, making the nutrients and minerals more bioavailable to the body. Seed or nut cheeses make a great plant-based alternative to dairy and are traditionally homemade but are very easy to make. The process involves blending the seeds and or nuts with a probiotic powder. For a soft ricotta type texture, the mixture is left to ferment for between 6 to 8 hours in a covered jar at an ideal room temperature between 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Similar to making dairy milk cheese, the whey is drained out, allowing the curds or cheese to thicken for a soft or molded firm consistency like sliceable cheese. Precautions Most ferments are meant to be eaten in small portions rather than large quantities which may cause adverse effects and stomach upset. Some fermented foods should be avoided by people sensitive to molds. Consult your healthcare professional before consuming any fermented food if pregnant, nursing, have a serious health condition, or are taking any medications. Thanks for watching! For more info, as well as top quality fermentation supplies, be sure and check out the links in the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And why not check out another informational video?